Welcome to the complete guide of the new Passwords app in iOS 18. With the release of iOS 18, Apple has introduced a dedicated Passwords app that makes managing your passwords and pass keys easier and more efficient. The Passwords app serves as a dedicated hub for all of your login information, passwords, pass keys, Wi-Fi connections and more. Think of it as the Reminders app but for password management. You'll find categories like All, Pass Keys, Codes, Wi-Fi, Security and Deleted, each designed to help you organize and manage your credentials more efficiently. Let's dive into the All category first. This section contains all of your saved login details. You can use the search bar at the top to quickly find a specific credential, making it easier to locate the information you need. If you want to delete any entry, simply swipe left on it. You also have the option to sort these entries by date created, website titles, or even in ascending or descending order, whatever works best for you. To add a new entry, just tap the plus icon. From there, you can enter details like the website, username and password. You can also move an entry into a specific group and share it with others. Now, let's start about the passkeys category. In this section, you'll find all of your saved passkeys, which are Apple's alternative to traditional passwords. Passkeys use Face ID, Touch ID or a device passcode for secure logins and are much harder to hack compared to regular passwords. The app makes it easy to manage and access these passkeys. Next up is the code section, which stores all of your verification codes for two-factor authentication. If you've enabled 2FA for added security on your accounts, this section will store the temporary codes that you use to log in. This is especially useful for services like Google or social media platforms that require a secondary code when logging in. It keeps everything in one place, so you don't have to switch between apps to find your codes. In the Wi-Fi category, you will find all the details of the Wi-Fi networks you're connected to. One standout feature here is the ability to share Wi-Fi credentials using a QR code. This is a handy feature that allows you to quickly share your Wi-Fi information with guests or other devices without needing to type in the password manually. Note that this function is only available within the Passwords app and you won't find it under the standard Wi-Fi settings in iOS. The security section is where things get even more interesting. This section flags any passwords that are compromised, easily guessed or reused giving you the chance to improve your security. For each flagged password, you can tap and hold on the entry to either change the password or hide the security alert if you're aware of the risk but don't want the reminder. You can also select the entry to edit the password details or update it directly from the app, making password management more proactive and secure. Lastly, the deleted section stores all of your deleted credentials. If you accidentally remove a password, you can recover it from here, or you can delete it permanently. Be aware that any credentials in the deleted section will be automatically erased after 30 days, so you have some time to recover anything you might need. One of the most exciting new features in the iOS 18 Passwords app is the ability to create shared groups. This lets you share passwords with family members, friends or coworkers securely. To create a shared group, tap the plus new group option at the bottom of the app. From here, you can name the group, add people to it, and then tap create. Once the group is set up, you can select any passwords you want to share and move them into the group. You can also add more passwords later by tapping the add icon and selecting move to group. This feature is ideal for sharing login credentials for streaming services, shared family accounts, or any other frequently used passwords. If you ever need to add a password manually, it's simple to do so. Just tap the plus icon at the bottom, enter the title of the website, username and password. If you want to share the password, select the appropriate group. You can also add notes to the entry if needed, and then tap save to finalize it. I hope this helped you out. Leave a comment if you have any questions and see you in the next one.